there. Hi, y'all. <laughs> um, here we are, day 20 of 30 Days Live. And today, honestly, <laughs> more than any of the other 20 days, I am rejoicing ridiculously. I just uploaded the entire program completed from start to finish um, and the build out officially begins. Um, I am ridiculously elated right now, y'all. It's just crazy how excited I am. Um, Welcome to Trauma Transformations, the beginning of the end for me in terms of just building out and developing this program. It has been, I can't even say, the most, um, the, the biggest accomplishment of my, well, it feels like of my life at this particular moment moment because I'm finally done. I'm just, oh my goodness. I'm, I'm beyond excited and ridiculously happy and shamelessly proud of myself. <laughs> uh, yeah. Happy Sunday. Um, <laughs> happy Sunday. I've shared a few things on this tile here. So let me just scoot on over to, to it and, um, and read. The first thing, it's called Trauma Transformation, clearly, of course. Um, and it's the, the change moment. So I'll just read it. The most important spiritual growth doesn't happen when you're meditating or on a yoga mat. It happens in the midst of conflict, when you're frustrated, angry, or scared, and you're doing the same old thing, and then you suddenly realize that you have a choice to do it differently. <laughs> this moment came for me about, well, really, it started in, Jan in December, um, as I was driving to a meeting and it being my first time out in a really long time. Um, and I realized something has to, something has to be different. Something has to change. You know, you can't keep doing the same thing you've always done and expect a different result. That's a common statement and phrase that has, um, you know, sort of permeated the environment of change for the longest of times. But applying it to myself, that was my moment. That was my moment for change. That was my moment to say, I need to do these things differently. I need to figure out a way to do this all differently. And, and especially because of my um, current situation, I've kind of alluded to the fact that um, change is happening for me. And uh, I've essentially moved from being an able-bodied individual, able to come and go and do things as I, as I want and as I wish and as I always have been, um, to a person that has to rethink how I'm going to do things, how I'm going to um, continue to flourish and prosper in my environment and profession of choice. Um, so as a psychotherapist, I'd always gone to people and gone out into the community. Um, but because of my um, physical limitations now and my embracing the fact <laughs> that I am physically as I am, um, I needed to figure out how to be able to continue doing the therapy, but in a way that didn't require me leaving my home at all times. Um, because there are days that I get up and I can't quite walk. And so I have to incorporate, um, it started with the cane and I kept waiting for things to improve for me to be able to walk without the cane. Um, 
and then it went to a walker and now it's to a chair. And so um, I'm now, because I've uploaded this program and redesigned True Roots and my company to be a more online um, model of service. Now with the program uploaded, <laughs> <laughs> and hand it off to my team who's going to build it out. This team that I discovered in the midst of thinking, okay, can I do this online? Can I make this an online service? Uh, and then finding people who said, yeah, Kimberly, of course, you can make it online. And here are the tools and the things that you need in order to do that. You just need to take all the things that you were doing in person and put them in a program instead and then present that and so that was the beginning of the um birth of trauma transformations so you'll be seeing it soon <laughs> but i'm rejoicing right now because i had a purpose in my heart and a plan in my mind to do things differently and i connected with people who could help me piece together what differently looked like and make that vision a reality. And I can, I can see clearly. So trust me, change comes when you purpose to do things differently. The next tile, hmm. Yeah, the next tile is my pure truth. Again, it's on my trauma, uh, no, it's on my Kimberly Cato psychotherapist um, page. So if you aren't connected to that page, um, I'll send out an invite and you can join me here. But this tile says, don't worry about hurting my feelings because I guarantee you not one bit of my self-esteem is tied up in your acceptance. <laughs> Honestly, that is such a liberating tile for me because especially stepping into the online world where um, people freely share their comments and things, um, please keep the comments coming because uh, they feed me, they help me improve. Um, I hear them and, um, and I do improve. And, but it won't negatively impact my self-esteem. Now, if you're nasty, that's another story altogether. But if it's constructive criticism, I welcome it, I embrace it. And I thank you ever so very much for it. Um, now the third tile, my friend Maria sent me. She's delightful. And she sent me this tile that says, and I titled it, well, just trauma transformation. It's got a little feather. It's beautiful. A little feather and a hand waiting for the feather to land in it. And it says, some of us have been through things so traumatic that the human mind isn't built to handle. But we fight and persevere every single day and night. If that's not strength, I don't know what is. You're a survivor. And you know what? <laughs> this tile couldn't have come to me at a better time or day. I've survived all manner of things, um, as of many of you. And we're here and we're standing and we have purpose and power in our heart. And we need to find perhaps a different way to um, express that purpose um, as a result of the, the tra trauma we've endured or the circumstances that we're in. But once we've discovered that different way of releasing and expressing ourselves, um, we just need to push through and do it. We need to accept whatever criticism may come, but don't let that criticism or anybody else's acceptance be tied to your self-esteem. 
build yourself up, speak positive to yourself, walk um, in the assurance of the strength of your gift and your purpose and your calling at this time, at this hour, whatever it is that's in you, pour it out. Let us have it. There are people waiting for it. <laughs> I'm going to go find a big glass and some wine and celebrate um, celebrate this moment, celebrate this day, celebrate the 20th day of this 30-day challenge and just <laughs> celebrate being happy and contented and fulfilled and able to actually find a way to express and release the gifts that I've been given. <sighs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me in this. Know that um, know that you are loved and you are greatly, greatly appreciated. Thank you for walking with me and for this journey that we're on together. Um, stay tuned. <laughs> Great things are coming. Hmm. Yeah. Be well. Bye now. <laughs>